Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of our programming language. Uh, in my previous video, I have talked about factors. In this video, I'll be talking about subsetting in R. So what is subsetting actually? Uh, subsetting actually allows the user to access elements from any object. Like we already have talked about multiple objects like data frames and other stuff, right? So it help us uh, in accessing the elements from that object, right? There are multiple ways uh, through which we can do subsetting. In this uh, video, I'll be talking about few of the uh, methods which we can use in order to get some portion of a data from the bigger data, right? Let's suppose if there is a data frame available which is containing multiple columns such as states, country, population and suppose the user wants to extract only the states from it then subsetting will help us in doing this operation, right? This is the meaning of subsetting. So for this uh, uh, this video, I've already have opened up the uh, terminal in front of you, the R console and uh, behind the scenes you can see there is a one uh, notepad file opened up in which the, some examples are been given. Let's get it started, right? The very first uh, point, like how we can get the do the subsetting, we, we can do it with the help of square brackets. For this for this little uh, topic, I'll be taking the example of empty cars in built data set. I hope you must be aware that in the uh, uh, R Studio or R language, uh, you'll find this in built data set, which is called empty cars, right? So this empty cars is having uh, some row names available, some columns with the likes of MPG, surrender, displacement and all. So let's try this uh, subsetting thing on it. So very first example we have taken like empty cars, I'm using a sim simple square brackets without passing anything. It is nothing but it will be printing everything, whatever we have in the empty cars, right? So let me a uh, little bit uh, increase this size. Right, you can see it now. Everything got displayed. So empty cards in this square bracket without passing anything. It will be me it meaning is like it will be displaying everything. Right. In the same way, if I'm using this comma here, it will be displaying everything. So first two examples are actually same. In case if you want to print some part of it, let's suppose in this case I'm not using uh, any row, but I'm passing the first column. Then it will be displaying the first column and vice versa. Like if I do in this other way around. It will be showing me the first entire row. This uh, Mazda RX4 is the nothing but the row names, row name and the, uh, the above one are the column names of this empty cars. In the same way, if you want to uh, uh, write uh, some specific thing, let's suppose I'm using defining this one comma three comma four. Let's see what happened. So it will be showing you uh, in this case, like uh, the MPG column displacement column and a HP column, right? So this is how the thing works, right? One, three, Four. So it will be showing the three columns here, MPG, displacement and horsepower. This is how we can do it, right? Next point is how we can do the subsetting and viewing the data through column names and row names. Because this empty cards is containing the row names and column names both. Let's try this. Let's suppose instead of uh, specifying the index number and these numbering, right? We can just simply pass the things explicitly. Let's suppose I would like to print the this data am column so you can see it like am column got printed here right this is how we can do it in the same way if you want to just do a little variation i'm just passing here comma here so it will be displaying this uh, only the values of am column right in the same way we can just uh, go with the two more columns here so we know that if we have more than one value we can use the combined function or c function so here we are defining mpg as well alongside am column let's do it so it will be displaying two columns along with the row names, right? This is how we can do it. In the same way, if you can just uh, pass the, maybe uh, uh, you can pass the row name, let's do it, in which we are passing this Volvo thing. So Volvo is a car uh, name here in this data set, 142E, and uh, we are passing here this one. So it will be displaying the data with respect to Volvo only. So in this way, we can uh, do the subsetting and viewing data through the column names and row names. Now, next point is how we can do the subsetting. The third option we can try like we have a function called which function. It is nothing but the way we, we were defining the or using the where clause in SQL. So in the same way, we can define the condition using the uh, which function. Let's see again, I'll be using the empty cards in this empty cards data set. I'll be now applying the which function, which is uh, another uh, important function through which we can do the subsetting. Now, I would like to define the condition in this case that which empty cards and I'm specifying the column AM equal to zero. So it will be displaying the uh, whole information in which the AM columns uh, values are equivalent to zero. You can see it here. Uh, everything got displayed here. All the rows got displayed here. Sorry, all the columns available where wherever we have a AM zero available. Like just you can see it here. 
wherever we have value of am0 you can see all the values got displayed in the same way if you want to now uh, do another way let's suppose in the second example we have taken like in which the gears are more than four of the cars i would like to print that information let's do it this way as well i hope you all are aware that dollar sign is nothing but used to indicate or used to select a particular column i'm selecting a column gear from this data frame and i'm passing this condition greater than 4 so it will be displaying the information correspond to it right this, this way we can do it another example we have taken uh, in which you can see now uh, earlier we were we were not defining any specific column now i would like to specify a specific column which is called horsepower means correspond to am0 i would like to display only hp column so what, what we can do in the same example we can now pass the hp column so it only be displaying the information of hp column correspond to the condition where the empty cards am column it is equal to zero this is how we can use the which condition next point is we can also do the subsetting using the subset function it's another useful function available in r so it has a very simple syntax subset followed by the data set which you want to uh, which you want to use i'll be using the same uh, uh, data set which is called empty cars in which we can specify the condition the same thing which we have done with the which function the same thing we can do with the subset function as well so this query which we have written here it's equivalent of this query which we already tried in the above right this one both queries are uh, actually same it's up to you which one you want to use right in the same way if you want to uh, like select some column let's suppose i want to print only maybe uh, HP column let's do it alright so only HP column will be displayed so in this way we can use the subset uh, function right now next point is we can also do it with the DPLYR uh, package although I'll be covering the DPLYR package uh, separately in my uh, other video but because DPLYR is also uh, giving us some of the uh, important functions through which we can do the subsetting so first of all in order to use the DPLYR let's load the library DPLYR first as I've already stated that I'll be covering this in a separate video yeah, like all the functions under the DPLYR will be discussed but because of the fact it's providing us uh, some of the uh, important functions for subsetting let's do it so again DPLYR is giving a select function available so select function then again empty cars as a data set then you can specify which one you want to select I want to select the cylinder column so only cylinder column will be displayed so it means it is helping us in doing the projection we, I'm just selecting the uh, cylinder column here right in the same way if you want to print a more than one column let's suppose HP column so it will be displaying both cylinder and HP column here right this is how we can use the select function defined under the DPLYR package uh, you have to install DPLYR package with the install.packages DPLYR because it's not available uh, by default in R right so you have to install it uh, before you uh, load the library right in the same way we can also call the filter function defined under DPLYR in which we can pass the empty cars and then again I'm using the same condition that I've already have displayed or demonstrated with the help of which and subset so again guys it's up to you uh, which one you want to use because this condition filter that which condition that we tried or a subset function all three are same right all will be giving you same output it's up to you which one you want to use just alternative we are trying last point is we can also do it with the uh, uh, regular or traditional SQL as well uh, in SQL first of all you have to load the library again you need to install this uh, package before I'll be covering this SQL DF thing in a separate video as well uh, so but because of the fact it's also giving us the regular or the traditional select statement we can do that as well let's suppose uh, if you want to use the uh, traditional SQL statement you have to call SQL DF function in which you have to put everything in a, in a double quotes let's suppose I would like to uh, print only cylinder column so I'll be using uh, select C, uh, CYL from empty cars so this is how we can do it right that's it so it means now we have done multiple things today like we have uh, seen how we can get the data using the brackets using the uh, column names or row names using the sum condition using which function using subset function and followed by using the uh, DPL LYR package which is providing us select filter followed by the SQL DF in which we can write the traditional SQL query to get some portion of a data from a bigger data set. I hope you must have understood the concept of subsetting. In next video, I'll be talking about some other topic. See you there, right? Thank you guys.